Hey everyone, Jeremy here with AE Screens, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Monotize, which is an After Effects script that lets you make any text monospaced. So here I've got this text layer, and I'm going to select it, and then over here I've got my Monotize script. So I'm going to just click this ruler, and just like that, now my text is monospaced. And then under the effect controls, I can set the spacing to whatever I want. Once you add mono spacing, you can edit this text freely however you want. So I can add another line break and say hello. So maybe I'll delete this and then I can just make this text black. And that's because it's not using any expressions on the source text. So again, you can freely manipulate this however you want, make it any alignment you want. But I think the most practical application for mono spacing is with animating numbers. So over here, I've got this number animation and I'm using NumPro to do this, which is one of my presets. So I can just play this and you'll see that it's really shaky. And that's because this font is not mono spaced. So in order to fix this, I can just select the text layer and then hit this ruler. And now the text is mono spaced. And so the shakiness goes away. But I think that there's just too much spacing around this decimal here. And then this dollar sign and this M are just too close to the numbers. So one thing you can do with monetize is add variable spacers. And so holding shift, I'm going to click this ruler. That's going to add this variable spacer effect. And so what this does is it allows you to specify a range and then set the spacing within that range. So it's going from left to right and it's counting from zero to one. So that means it's just gonna affect the first character in this text, which in this case is the dollar sign. So here I can just bump up this spacing and only the space between the dollar sign and the next character is being affected. So I'll just go ahead and change this to 100 and then holding shift and clicking this ruler, I'm gonna add another variable spacer. Now by default, when you add multiple spacers, it's just gonna rotate between left to right and then the next one's gonna be right to left and back and forth. And so this time it's counting from this side, again, zero to one, and that's what we want. We just wanna change that M. So we'll just bump this up to 100. And now that M is separate from the rest of the number. Now holding shift again, I'm gonna add one more variable spacer. Now I wanna make sure this is right to left because this animation, you can see we've got uh, two digits right here and then it goes up to three digits. And so in this case, it's just easier to go from right to left. So we'll change this from right to left and we just got to count. This is zero, this is one, and then this is two. So the range is gonna be from two to three and that will let us target just this decimal place. So I'm gonna set the start to two and then the end to three. And now I can change the spacing, and you can see that's just manipulating the space around that decimal. So I'll bump this to a negative number, and that's, I'll do negative 50. And now that's looking much better. And now I'll go ahead and play this back. And you can see that the animation is looking really smooth. Even though it's not technically monospace at this point, everything is staying in place and doing exactly what I want. So with monetize and then with the variable spacing, you're able to just add a little bit extra control to how you want your numbers or your text formatted. If I wanted to remove any of these variable spacers, I could just hold shift and then click this remove mono spacing button. And because I'm holding shift, it's just gonna remove the latest variable spacer. So I could just remove those. Now, if I just wasn't holding shift and click this, it's gonna remove the mono spacing and any variable spacers you have. So I'll just undo, give that back to normal. And that is monetized. If you have any questions, please let me know. And until next time, take care.